Alright my friends, today we're going to read chapter 9 of Midnight on the Moon. Chapter 9 is called Morgan. So I'm trying to think about what we read yesterday. My summary yesterday was Jack and Annie found the fourth M thing. It was the mouse. That made Morgan appear. So I'm remembering that and I'm going to hold that in my brain so I can remember and make sense of what we're reading today. While I'm reading today, I'm going to think about a new summary for this chapter. What's a summary? Yeah, a summary is the most important thing that happens. So let's listen and figure out what our summary is for chapter nine. Chapter nine, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan said softly. You have freed me from the magician's spell. Jack just stared at her. You were peanuts, said Annie. Morgan nodded and smiled. Really? You were with us all the time, said Jack. On all of our missions? Morgan nodded again. Why did we have to go on this mission to find a mouse, said Jack. You were always with us. To break the spell, we had to be on the moon, said Morgan. You could have broken it the minute we arrived. Oh, that's what Peanut... I mean, you were trying to say, said Annie. I didn't have to leave the moon base at all. Morgan nodded, smiling. But the moon man came along to help us, said Annie. He drew a constellation of a mouse. Is he a friend of yours? Morgan shrugged. Let's just say we had a little talk. He stopped by the moon base while you were out. The same way you had a little talk with the ninja master, right? And the monkey and the sorcerer? Morgan nodded. I always squeaked to the ones who helped you. So you guys, Morgan was helping all the people that they met along the way that helped them find the clues. But how did they understand you? The mouse, said Jack. Morgan smiled again. Certain wise ones understand language of little creatures, she said. I bet it was you who turned the pages of the book, said Annie. To show us where to go next? Morgan nodded. But who turned you into a mouse? asked Annie. Morgan frowned. A certain person who likes to play tricks on me, she said. His name is Merlin. Merlin, said Jack, the greatest magician who ever lived? Morgan sniffed. He's not that great, she said. He doesn't even know I have two brave friends who help me. Us, said Annie shyly. Morgan nodded. And I thank you both with all my heart. You're welcome, said Jack and Annie. Morgan handed J Annie the Pennsylvania book. Are you ready to go home now, she asked. Yes, said Jack and Annie. Annie pointed to the picture of Frog Creek Woods. I wish we could go here, she said. The tree started to spin. It spun faster and faster than everything was still. Absolutely still. But only for a moment. All right, friends, I want you to think about what your summary is of this chapter. Who appeared? This person right here, she's really important. What's her name? It's Morgan. Morgan appeared. That's huge. And Morgan told them that she had been helping them. Morgan was Peanut. How crazy. And at the end, Morgan gave them this thing right here. Yeah, Morgan gave them the Pennsylvania book so they could go back home. That's super important to remember. So we have a lot of important parts in this chapter. I want you to think about what the most important thing is and glue it in your brain. That'll be your summary today. Once you've got that summary in your brain, we're going to show you what to do for writing time today.